It's funny, I sat down here, well, I didn't sit down, I stood up here and thought, oh, I gotta go find a box that might work, we gotta do some Frankenboxing, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go check the mailbox first. <laughs> and I'm glad this guy showed up. Thanks, Lonnie. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave and I'm excited about today for a multitude of reasons. One is that an item that's been hanging around, literally, it was hanging right there for a long time. It's now out in the Commonwealth cabin, finally sold. We didn't make a ton of money on it, but we did make a decent amount of profit. It is going to take a little bit of Frankenboxing, I'm afraid. But I had another item sell today that's also going to take some Frankenboxing that I think is well worth the Frankenboxing. And I think that a lot of you resellers out there probably haven't sold this item before and probably have passed it up. I know that's got to be true because I find them all the time. Well, I used to find them a lot more than I find them now. Well, of course, I don't find anything now. None of us are. But when we do get back out there and about, eventually, I think this is an item that some of you, if you don't mind a little creative boxing, should look for because the dollars that these things are selling for are pretty good. Matter of fact, they've gone up, back up to the level where I used to sell them at all the time. I have literally been selling these things for almost 20 years. And surprisingly enough, they've held their value probably 15 years, I would say, is how long I've been selling them. And they've held their value for a long time. And we had a bunch of other stuff sell as well, so let's get to it. Let's take a look. All right, we're just going to talk about a couple items in here, maybe three, and then we'll go out to the Commonwealth cabin because I have a couple big things out there I want to show you. This is a Sony camcorder. A lot of you have sold these before. I've been selling these for years as well. The handy cams do really well. Sony is one of the best brands out there. There's some others, Panasonic, JVC, stuff like that. This one has some issues, though. It's got a little crack right here, and it doesn't work. So I sold this one as is for parts. It does turn on and that's about all I can get out of it. It does have a battery, so there's a little plus. Sometimes I'll take these batteries if I have a couple of them and sell them off separately, but I decided just to throw this one in with it because I was selling it for parts as a little extra bonus to get rid of it. It sold for $19 plus shipping. So I paid $5 for it and had some other stuff with it, which I kept to maybe add on to a working unit later and just sold this part right here, $19 plus shipping. So we still made a profit, even though it has these issues and the thing doesn't work. So, hey, when I bought it, I knew it had these issues and I still paid five bucks for it, hoping it would work, but knowing I could at least get my money in a little bit more if it didn't. All right, this one's been in the store for two years. It is a Ford Explorer emblem. And, you know, one of the metal ones you put on the side of the old Ford Explorer. And this one sold for $24.95, free shipping, but it is first class, so it's going to ship out for probably around 4 bucks. This kind of thing is something you should look for. I know there's a lot of people out there who have taken to buying cars and parting them out. And I think that's a good strategy. It's not a good strategy for me because I have a hard time screwing in a light bulb. But I think for a lot of people out there, it is a pretty good option. And I think if you have those kind of skills, you could specialize in that area and sell car parts. I know a lot of places are doing it. They're hiring employees to do it, as a matter of fact. But I bought this one out of a box of these things. Matter of fact, I bought the whole box. And I made my money back on one Cadillac emblem that was a pretty good one. It was like a $40 Cadillac emblem. And I think I paid 25 bucks for the box a couple years ago. And I've been selling the parts off. I think I'm down to three parts. I think there was like 20 different things that I listed. And we're down to three. So I made a few hundred dollars at least. Maybe closer to $400 on that little box of emblems. All right, this is about as close to a bad buy as I can pin on Blue Ridge Mama, and she still made money, so it's not too bad. It's a water wobble. Water balloons that aren't really balloons, and you just kind of, they're like balls, and you just fill them with water, and you throw them, and then you fill them back up with water. A reusable water balloon, I guess you could call it. And I think she got these at CVS for a buck a pop, and we sold them for $11.81 as a pair plus shipping so there's about an eight dollar maybe seven dollar profit in there and we've got three or four more sets but it seems to be pretty logical to be selling now they were bought she bought these at the end of last season and i mean by last season i mean the end of last summer and a quick thank you to andy and to doreen we hope these guys bring you wonderful reselling luck now let's head out into the commonwealth cabin and check out what's sold in there all right so we're back in the commonwealth cabin in here and I think there's three things out of here that have sold. So the first one 
course, is the one that's been selling a lot lately. $13.88 for that puzzle, and we're down to the nitty gritty on those, I think. Let's go back here real quick. So I think, yep, there we go. So $13.88 for that, and then we have just one left, just one left. And then we have this backpack. This one right here is, let me see if I can remember, Alpine, uh, Low Alpine Contour 3. So I paid $3 for this one at a sale, and I thought, oh, well, we'll make some pretty good quick money on this. Well, it's been here for over a year. It took way longer to sell than I thought, and the dimensional shipping on it's a little bit rough. Can't get it under what I need it to get under. And I looked at the listing not too long ago and realized I didn't have a FedEx listing on it an option for FedEx. So we changed that up, got a little bit more interest in it, and finally got that one sold, which I'm really happy about. But the big sale today, the one that I most wanted to talk about, is this one right here. So let's take it out here and put it in a little bit better light. All right, so this is a purple ab roller. This is something I've talked about on the show before, but I don't think I have sold one in quite a while. I haven't had one. And when I had my boy cleaning out my death pile room in there, he found this one stacked up at the bottom. Usually what I do with these is I'll take these from a garage sale and I have a screwdriver in my car that'll, that'll fit the, the black screws that are on here. And I unscrew it because if I'm out at the garage sale, I used to be in my car all the time and I wouldn't want to take up all that space inside of my car while I was out garage sale. And so I just started bringing the screwdriver with me unscrewing these, flattening it out, and putting it in the trunk of the car is basically what I used to do with these. And I'd put the little screws in the front of my car in a little cup right there. And then when I got home, I would reassemble it, take pictures of it, and then I would disassemble it again. When I reassembled it, I would only put one screw in instead of putting two in each place. It doesn't take very long. This whole thing to unassemble and to reassemble maybe two minutes it's not hard at all obviously you're not going to ship it complete if you don't know what these look like maybe i'll throw a picture in right here and this one is not in great shape you can see the rust on here i didn't even bother going and cleaning it all up there's a split in one of the pads i can't remember where that is somewhere around here and obviously it's got this issue it's faded in color I mean, so there's quite a few issues with this thing, and it still sold for $42 plus shipping. So this is actually an item that I usually get more money for. I think if this didn't have the few issues that I just talked about, I think that I could easily get $49.95 plus shipping, and I see people listing them for $59.95 plus shipping and occasionally getting it. So it is a huge money maker for an item like this. I usually don't pay more than let's say, I don't know, five bucks max at a garage sale. I might pay five bucks, might pay like $6.99, $7.99 at a Goodwill and I'd still buy them. I don't think I'd go up into the tens just because there's a little bit of work with it. A little key for these, if you've never sold them, is to get the stabilizers, to find the ones with stabilizers. The ones without stabilizers will still sell, but the ones with stabilizers do better. Purple ab rollers are the best sellers. And it's not that hard. I put it in this position to tell you this is the best way to ship it. It's bigger than a VCR, obviously, and it's certainly more awkward. But it's not impossible to Frankenbox this thing, and I've done it many times. I bet you I've sold 70 of these over the years and got anywhere between $29.99 to 70 bucks plus shipping, depending on what the current market is. I also usually take the screws and put them in a plastic bag and tape them right here because they're so easily lost. So the next time you're out there and about and you see a purple one, go ahead and grab it and tell me what you think and tell me if it's something you think that uh, you might want to do or if it's too much trouble for you. I love finding these things and I love it when I sell them and they usually sell really quick. I listed this thing two days ago and it sold last night. And now I gotta get to work doing a little bit of Frankenbox and maybe I'll put this on a Commonwealth Flipper shipping video. I'm not quite sure. I don't know how much time I have. I gotta get to the post office too. So maybe I don't have time for all that. So anyway, thanks for joining us in the Commonwealth cabin. Let's head back into the cave. Look what showed up just in time to do some Frankenboxing on this purple ab roller. I mean, good timing. <laughs> 
it's funny, I sat down here, well, I didn't sit down, I stood up here and thought, oh, I gotta go find a box that might work, we gotta do some Frankenboxing, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go check the mailbox first, <laughs> and I'm glad this guy showed up. Thanks, Lonnie. <laughs> I just want to send a real quick special thank you to Zoraida. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And you wrote a really, really nice little note. Said thank you so much for being a blessing. Nice distraction watching your videos to learn and keep focus on the good. I'm an essential worker that is out here every day. And then she asked me to please sign it. So thanks again. God bless you and your family. So Zoraida, thank you. And we will make sure we sign that and get it off to you. Thanks so much. All right, that LU male cheerleader lot, Nike dry fit shirts. And we got all this stuff for free, including a backpack, if you remember watching some videos. So there are some big pluses. Don't be afraid to tell people what you do. Sometimes you end up with a whole ton of merchandise and you paid nothing for it. So we have been selling these off bit by bit. I think Rev Resale bought one uh, recently. Uh, we have another one back there that sold as well. These sold for $30.82 free shipping. And here's another little hint. If you have an eBay store and you sell the same type item in it often, don't be afraid to send a message to the people who buy it. So a lot of LU people buy for me and they know I sell it. And this person had a message and she just sent me a message say, hey, do you have any cheerleading stuff? And I'm like, no, I don't have any female cheerleading stuff, but I have a bunch of male cheerleading stuff. I got to sell pretty quick. I have repeat customers for these particular items because I sell so much of it, which is why I made that massive LU buy where a lot of people passed it up. It's because I have like a built in market for it because I have a lot of people that have saved my store and watch when I put things in because they know I sell LU stuff. And here's the other one sold for $19.81. A little sparky. So we get a lot of LU stuff around here, obviously, because of our proximity to the school. So that's $50 in sales that were complete freebies. Now, obviously that's not all profit, but when you're working from a zero total because you paid nothing from it, you're making pretty good money on that stuff. And this sale doesn't surprise me. What surprises me is that we had some of this stuff left, $9.81, and it is uh, color stay. And this is the kind of stuff I would expect to be selling right now. So even though you're stuck at home, ladies, you still gotta make sure you look good, right? I will say it does make me feel a little bit better if I get up, take a shower, put on clothes like I normally would, like I'm going somewhere, even if I end up going nowhere at all. All right, we've got a couple more things we're going to tack on to the end of this video, including a homeschool hustler sale. And we appreciate you all coming, as always. We hope you're doing good out there so we can see you again. And don't forget to leave a comment and let us know how you're doing out there. And we will see you next time. All right, I need you all's help on this one. So I bought this thing and my wife was taking pictures of some plush and my daughter was taking some pictures of some plush. She said, what is this thing? So I have no idea. So somebody let me know who this guy is. Maybe he's got some value. Maybe he doesn't, but at least we'll know. It says peekaboo toys on it. Peekaboo toys. So I guess I'm not familiar with that. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. So let me know if you know, put it in the comments. Thanks. All right, we have a homeschool hustler store sale, and it used to be right there, and now it's right here. What are those, Rain? Best in children's books. Best in children's books. And those sold for $16.81 plus shipping. If I remember that sale right, it was really, really cheap, and I think I got them really, really cheap. What are your favorite books, Reagan? Um, Junie B. Jones, Little House on the Prairie, and Harry Potter. <laughs> I like that. I like Harry Potter, too. Mm -hmm. And we love some Little House on the Prairie, don't we? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, well, thanks for joining us. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Hey, I got Turner with me. We have some in the mail here. And if you remember a while back, I said, hey, has anybody out there got some Pirates of the Caribbean movies? We're missing one and three. And I said, let's buy something from a viewer. And we've been doing that from time to time. Anytime we need something, we're going to buy it on eBay. We're going to ask you all first. And unless my wife buys it without telling me. <laughs> And so I grabbed Turner since this came. This is uh, from Jonathan, and Jonathan sent this to us. Well, he didn't send it. Well, he did send it to us, but we bought it from him. And he has sent us some pictures. What do you think of those pictures? Those are from his kids. What do you think of that? Wow. We got that one sideways, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Who's it? Oh, look at that. Who's this? Who's that? Uh, I don't know. You don't know who that is? Oh, baby Jesus. It's baby Jesus. <laughs> Oh, I will have failed. <laughs> he wrote a really, really nice note. I'm not going to uh, read the whole thing. I'm going to just let you pause it here if you want to read it. But it is a really great story, and we're uh, happy that we could help in some way. We wish you the best of luck, Jonathan. We appreciate it. Hey, if you have a minute and you're willing, and you have not already subscribed to RK Treasure Center, he is a terrific guy, and his wife is wonderful as well. Roy and Kim over at RK Treasure Center, and he's been working hard for a long time. And I don't think there's very many people out there who deserve a thousand subscribers more than he does. So run over there and see if we can't give him a thousand. By the time you see this, he'll be really, really close. And uh, hopefully we'll we'll put him over that uh, 1K mark and tell him I sent you. Thanks.